This tutorial will run through how to create the very first program, Hello World, in Dr. Java. First thing you want to do is open up Dr. Java. <coughs> and when that loads up, we can adjust our fonts if necessary under Edit and Preferences. You go to Display Options here and Fonts if you need to make it larger. And then also you want to turn on line numbers to just make it easier to fix any errors that come up. Now the first line in any program is the name of the program. So we'll call this public class Hello World. I notice that there are no spaces in the name of our program. Java doesn't like spaces. What I'm going to add here with these two backslashes or forward slashes rather are some comments which are notes to the programmer and aren't run as part of the program. So that's anywhere we can put a note to ourselves as to what a line does, a note to other programmers, and it's completely removed from the code. So this is our program name, and a class is also a Java program. Whenever you speak of Java, we can refer to a Java file or Java program as a Java class. Now our entire program is going to be between two of these curly braces, which are on the keys above the enter key, and they signify a block of code. So right now our entire program doesn't do anything because there's no code in there, but that's where it's all contained. Now our next line is called the main method. Public static void main, and then string with a capital S, these brackets, which are on the same key as the curly brace, and then args for arguments. Now you don't need to know what this line specifically does, but it's the main method, or I should say what it specifically means, but it's the main method or where the program begins execution. It has to start somewhere, so it's always going to be the main method. And later on you'll be able to create your own methods, but for right now we'll stick with this one. And the main method encapsulates, encapsulates a group of code as well. Now all the curly braces like this, they come in pairs and they surround blocks of code. And when programs get long, it can be really helpful to add comments to your closing curly braces so you know which one applies to which. So this one on line 9 applies to the one on line two, especially when you have very long programs and you can't see them. Indenting is also another way to do it. Now our first program, or excuse me, our first line of code, system.out.println, notice that's an L, we can use just print, but when we add the ln, it's also the equivalent of hitting return after we display something. So I'm going to type in hello world. And notice the space. Whenever you have something in quotes, that's referred to as a string, and you'll literally, um, it lit literally holds or represents whatever you see between the quotes. So when we print this out, we will see that blank space. So this is a programming statement. And as you can probably tell, that's just going to print something out. And programming statements all end with a semicolon. That's just the way of telling the program or the computer that that's the end of this particular instruction. So then what we want to do is save it. And we save our files as a .java file. But luckily, Dr. Java will do that automatically for us, so we don't have to add an extension here. So I'm going to hit Save. And then we can compile, which will convert it into something the computer understands. And also downhill here will tell us if we have any errors or if our program is not, excuse me, uh, Dr. Java is not set up properly. Okay, so compilation completed. And if I run it, I get that output. Now, for instance, if we were put an error in there, meaning to edit out our semicolon, and I compile it. I can click here and it'll always save when I compile, so that's handy. 
And notice, very clearly highlights that I have an error in this line down here. It's telling me this is my file path. So in my hello world.java, line six, line six, a semicolon is expected. They're not always that straightforward, but it can be very helpful in debugging your program. So once again, I'll recompile after every change you want to compile and run it. Now what's interesting is Java doesn't pay attention to uh, uh, hitting enter and line spaces. So I could back this up to the line above as long as it wasn't inside the, the comment. I could space this out some and it doesn't have an effect on the program. So later on we'll talk about setting up your code so it's easier to read. And I can use many of these statements as I want. And whether they're in the same line or not, they'll still work. So if I compile and run, I should get quite a bit of, uh, quite a lot of output. Now what's also interesting, in the next one, the next exercise, you're gonna to want to uh, sort of spell your initials out. See if you can draw something. And notice that if I have, if you reference the picture that's posted on Canvas, you'll see what the output might look like. But if I was to put these two letters inside quotes, these double spaces, uh, these blank spaces will show up. So let me compile and run it. And if you notice all these spaces, as I said, what's between the quotes is a string literal. We'll talk about that later with variables. But a string, what you see between the quotes is what you get.